Do you, know, do you understand mirroring in childhood? For those of you that don't, when a child is a small child and they feel angry, any type of response that that child gets tells the child about themselves. So they start to develop a self-concept based off of the mirroring they're getting, which is why it's really important, even when you're sitting down with a small child and they feel angry, to say something like, oh, I see that you're angry. You're mirroring that they have that emotion. So the child goes, oh, you're right, anger, that is what I feel. That's me right now, at this moment. And so you can either mirror positive or negative or all of it, but mirroring is super critical, and a lot of families do this poorly, quite frankly. There's nothing worse you can do, by the way, than to ignore a kid, because that is to reflect nothing, and the child learns nothing about themselves. So it's, it's almost like this blank mirror concept. <laughs> 